Shalom brethren, this is Grace Kikuvi from Rebuilding Broken Walls Ministry. As I mentioned earlier, that we are going to start our prayer and fasting tomorrow, 27th up to 2nd of May. We shall be breaking our fast in the evening and we shall also share in the Holy Communion. Why are we fasting? We are turning our hearts back to God as we cry for God to restore us once again. Now the scriptures we are going to look at is uh, Joel 1, uh, 14, which says, Consecrate a fast, call a sacred assembly, gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God. And cry out to the Lord. This is going to be a unique fast. Because I expect brokenness of the heart. That God is going to break our hearts of, the stone, of a stone. And grant us the heart of our flesh. There shall be brokenness. We are also going to look at Joel 2.1. And Joel 2.12. Now, day one starts tomorrow. The prayer for tomorrow is a prayer of consecration. To consecrate means to dedicate everything within and without, without us. To devote, to separate. That is what we are going to do. Now, we are going to look at Exodus 19 verse 10. Then the Lord said to Moses, Go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow and let them wash their clothes. So we are going to take ourselves to the Lord. We are going to set ourselves apart. So let me just give you a model prayer here for consecration. The first prayer point will be to consecrate the prayer dates. We want to devote them to God and hand them over to God so that God can be pleased and God can be part of this moment of prayer and fasting. So consecrate the dates, 27th of April up to 2nd of May. Speak the blood of Jesus over these dates. Subject the dates under the rulership of our Lord Jesus Christ. That this fast, this prayer, belongs to our Lord Jesus Christ. So dedicate it to the Lord God Almighty. The second point you're going to consecrate is your body, your soul, your heart, your mind. Subject them under the rulership of our Lord Jesus Christ. Plead the blood of Jesus over them. You can look at Romans 12 verse 1. You can also look at 1 Corinthians 6 19. That reminds us that our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Another thing we are going to consecrate is our homes. If possible, you can anoint your home. Speak peace on your ground. Speak peace on the walls. Speak peace on the atmosphere. You can read First Samuel 25 verse 6. Let your ground, let your altar, let your water, let your bread, let your family receive peace. That there shall be such stillness during this time so that nothing comes to corrupt our time of prayer and fasting. And then also you're going to consecrate your ears to hear what the spirit of god is saying consecrate your eyes so that you have insight ephesians 1 17 to 18 consecrate your mouth colossians 4 6 consecrate your hands leviticus 1 4 
this is what we are going to do tomorrow by God's grace. My prayer for you is that God shall give you the strength to go through it peacefully and that our prayer and fasting shall be pleasing and acceptable before God because it shall be true fasting. May God watch over you. So tomorrow by God's grace, I'm going to uh, post day two prayer points. Be blessed.